Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to address inner knee pain today in, in just a few moments. Um, this exercise has been shown in a different video. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is, is to elaborate a little bit further on why it works uh, and responsibilities that you guys should do if it does work for you. Um, the last video we went through was for skin rolling. I will show you the skin rolling here in, and this works with half of the people who try it. Yes, it doesn't work for everybody. It works for half of the people. So if it doesn't work for you, that doesn't work for you. But it's a pretty simple protocol. And so usually what happens here is you're just simply going to expose the knee, grab a chunk of skin, and I'll, I'll kind of turn here just so you can see. And you make big paint brush strokes throughout the leg. And then you go the other way. And so what we do here is we're basically grabbing the skin. I'll do it with one hand so you can see. And you kind of roll through it and you roll through it, okay? I like using two hands because it's easier for me. Okay, and I'll go this way just so you can see the other direction. So this is probably a better view for you guys. Now this is gonna seem really stupid, okay? I know how it is, like I, I show this sometimes with knee patients when we see them in person, um, especially with inner knee pain or right around the patellar tendon right there, especially with people who have had negative MRIs, they tried PRP shots, they've, they've tried physical therapy or, or uh, other types of therapies and it just hasn't worked. And, and a lot of times just because those are specific to the, the knee joints, um, this is addressing possibly referred symptoms in the area, okay? And so we're just gonna keep rolling, I hope you're rolling with me. And if this works, basically what you have to do is, is do steps two and three or else it will come back. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, it will come back is because all you've done is put a Band-Aid on the thing. You've done some pain, uh, some pain reduction, which is great, feels great. But if you wanna return to your sport, baseball, basketball, soccer, um, this, basic, this happened for most of you because of, um, it's not trauma, a lot of times knee issues come from repet, uh, repetitive habits. And so we just have to improve the strength of the areas surrounding it um, via specific exercises and, and also usually you got to use some corrective exercises as, as a patchwork in there. So that's all you do. Just roll, roll, roll. How does it feel? Go ahead and move around, stand up, kneel down, squat down, whatever it was that bothered you, just try it. Okay. Now that you feel like it worked or didn't work, if it worked, you're probably going to keep listening. If not, you're probably going to, you're still going to thumbs up this video, but you're going to probably keep going and look for something else, which is fine. Again, it only works for half the people. Now, what you have to understand here is why it works, and I'll demonstrate on, my, on myself. So there's nerves that come from the back and go right underneath the skin. Say my shirt is the skin, and it goes all the way down um, into the inner part here of the knee, okay? Um, so there's, there's really superficial nerves. They're not very deep, as you see. We're grabbing the skin. We're just decompressing the nerve a little bit. You can also take a little bit of a different approach, grab it and kind of wiggle, and this moves the nerve. It's like local nerve flossing, all right? And, and so these are typically associated with higher low back um, nerves. And I'm gonna pan up a little bit just so you can see. Sorry, no cameraman again. We do these between patients, so I do my best every time. So this area right here on this guy, Bob Norman, there's these nerves right around the higher lumbar spine, the low back but not between the little bony areas right here that you guys feel. Usually there's some area of stiffness here with people or there's like a nice dimple. Um, if you have like your, your, your uh, friend or um, spouse take a picture of you, most, some of you have a little dimple here. It's like you've been extended there a lot. We call this a spinal hinge. And so rather than having a good solid hip hinge, sometimes you'll have a spinal hinge. And so what these things do is it creates a little pinch point on, on the little yellow nerves there, which create the big nerve here, which goes down the leg. Again, if you're looking at it on me, it goes kind of around the inner part here. Now it's common for a lot of you to have some, some groin issues. You don't have to. Some of you will have some IT band tightness. You don't have to. Some of you will have hamstring tightness. You don't have to. Um, sometimes shin splints responds really well to this. Okay, and so what I'm getting at here is, yeah, if this thing worked, great, cool, but it's a responsibility to trace the nerve up. If you only leave it at working with the superficial nerves under the skin, by the way, created by Justin Dean Phillips now, 
great people. Uh, search them out if you're looking for some local care. And uh, I think they're in uh, Los Angeles area as well as uh, uh, Portland at this point in time. Um, really good colleagues of mine. And um, what I want you to do is just realize that you have to trace the thing up, all right? You have to get them where they start. If you don't, it's just incomplete care, all right? A lot of times we'll use this skin rolling as a way to reduce pain and give people um, a way out of their pain, at least momentarily, while we're solving the current issue at hand. And so the current issue at hand for a lot of people, it, it results, it's, it's from the spine. Um, and we have to do some things to patch that thing together, such as some specific corrective exercises, as well as some loading strategies, such as some resistance training, not too heavy, not too light, just enough to get the body to start working well again. Um, this usually doesn't take super long, all right? Um, a lot of times um, it will probably take less than two months to really do the right exercises. Then you just have to keep them into your routine for a little bit of time. If you're looking to figure out what these exercises are, I can always help you one-on-one -on -one, or one of our, our doctors can help you one-on-one -on -one as well. Um, or we do have a guide online which is very helpful. Um, it, it doesn't cover all the bells and whistles, but it's intended to meet you where you guys are at. And if you're struggling with, um, with money, um, that is very affordable and it's very effective for a lot of people too. Again, we're in Costa Mesa, California. We do offer online consults as well as video programming. So let us know if you need some help. Uh, we're always looking to help people out as much as we possibly can. And, and it's sad that a lot of you will, you're in different parts of the country and you feel like you've exhausted your resources locally there. All right, I get it. I, I hear, we, we get emails and comments from a lot of you uh, about that type of thing and, and um, we're here to help. All you have to do is start the conversation and ask us and we'd love to help you out through it. Subscribe to the channel, like it, uh, and share, please. We have a search function within the channel which is a bar which after you subscribe, just put in whatever you want. Knee pain, hip pain, low back, foot, diagnosis of any type. We have so many different videos that I encourage you to go through there and search them because I can't laundry list them out. So, see you guys next time. Take care.